You know, I originally got this to play for the memes, cause, you know, Peppa Pig is the worst, but this game actually kinda has a big problem. Listen, I know, I know I'm not the right audience for the game, I'm 24, I never grew up with this abomination of a show, but you know what, I don't care, I'm playing this and I'm giving my first impressions now, damn it. Honestly, I wouldn't have thought much of this just looking at it. It's just a Peppa Pig game where you get to create a self-insert character. As a game for young children who like Peppa Pig, this is perfectly serviceable. Why did this get my attention, you may ask? Well, you see, <laughs> my friend Peppa Pig is 40 feckin' dollars. Yes, that's right. Something that looks like shovelware was $40. But hey, maybe I'm too quick to judge. Maybe this is a great game, right? Right? Either way, thank the god of potatoes that I got it on sale for $27. Well, let's get into it. This game is about you creating your own character that's going to visit and spend time with Peppa Pig. Well, I guess by hang out, I mean that we'll be doing chores for a bunch of her family members. Yippee. Of course, I decided to create a fox character, both because I love foxes and so I can eat Peppa later. I mean, I run faster than her, so I have a good chance of that. I just hope she doesn't build a brick house later. Oh yeah, I'm also a pirate. The gameplay is also very simple. You press the Joy-Con in one of two directions, either left or right. Or, if you like to watch the world burn, then right from left. And you press one button to interact with objects. I don't mind the controls, as this game is for children at the age of 4 or under. I don't see any children 5 or above being entertained by this, though. Honestly, most of the runtime isn't even taken up by gameplay. Most of the game is unskippable cutscenes and dialogue. The first time around for these cutscenes isn't that bad. However, I don't know why they won't allow you to skip cutscenes that you've seen already. You come across a cutscene again on accident? Can't skip it! You come across Peppa's grandparents' house for the millionth time? She has to explain for the millionth time that her grandfather has a garden and her grandmother has chickens. Wait a second. If you quit the game and come back, you have to watch the same cutscene of Peppa telling her family that her friend is coming over. I mean, I know I'm not the right audience, I get that, but I still feel like a kid is not gonna want to be stuck in a cutscene that they've seen already and can't skip. But anyways, this game tries to throw the player character in what I'm assuming are iconic Peppa Pig locations so they get to experience the whole show. Sometimes a bit nonsensically. Like at one point, I was in the forest having a grand old picnic with Peppa's family. It goes from day to night, but it's still daytime for some reason. And then Peppa's class comes by and Peppa's family is gone and all of a sudden we're doing a class camping trip? And Peppa's grandparents are right outside the campsite acting like a bunch of creepers? Where are my parents? Why am I being held hostage by this pig family for like a week? And why is this game so silent at some points? So there's not even music. Is this some bizarre nightmare I can't wake from? You might be wondering why I have a problem with the price tag. The game looks... I mean, it looks like the Peppa Pig art style. As awful as it looks. It's simple enough for kids for and under who love the show. You get to go around the locations of the show. And you get to create a custom character in the show's style. Why do I think that this game isn't worth $40? Well, most people can beat it in 40 minutes to an hour and a half. Maybe two hours for the really young ones. I normally wouldn't have a problem with the length, as young children really don't have that big of an attention span. However, you're essentially paying $40 for a Peppa Pig movie. Look, just to prove my point, let's look at something else for a similar audience with a similar length of gameplay. The Putt-Putt games. These games are about an hour long, are for kids in the same age group, and has more interactability with the environment. However, they're only 15 bucks on Switch. Same thing with the Freddy Fish, Pajama Sam, and Spy Fox games. Granted, they're older games, but Peppa Pig having this level of gameplay should not be more than 20 bucks. The only reason they're charging $40 for this game is because they know parents or grandparents of kids who are obsessed with Peppa Pig will buy this. Or that little monster got his hands on mommy's credit card. 
Again. All right. Final thoughts for this game. I feel like there's going to be three different audiences for this game. If you want to play it to make fun of it, don't. It's expensive for what it is, and it's not even that fun to make fun of. Just stick to the episodes if you want to make fun of Peppa Pig. If you have a kid who doesn't watch Peppa Pig and you're looking for a new kids game for them, I'd look elsewhere. Like I said, the Putt-Putt, Freddy Fish, Pajama Sam, and Spy Fox games are on the platform. At a cheaper price than Peppa Pig. And there are hundreds of other children's and educational games on this platform. Like this dentist game. Peppa Pig doesn't really offer anything. There's very little educational value in here or entertainment value for the price. Now, if you have a kid who's obsessed with Peppa Pig, I guess that's gonna have to be up to you. Personally, I'd wait till the game is on sale before you buy it like I did. Or maybe even try getting a pre-owned version of the game. I don't think it's worth it when you can buy four seasons of Peppa Pig for the same price of this game. But if you're out of Peppa Pig things to buy for your child, or if you could get it cheaper, then I suppose go ahead. Alright, now that this video is over, I'm gonna go weep over the money I just lost to this. If you like this video and want to see more like this, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and click the notification bell to see more. And be sure to leave a comment down below with what you want me to go over next. If you want to help me recuperate the 27 I lost, I do have my coffee, Tee Public, and Etsy down below. Until next time, this is Das Macabre, signing off.